The future of AI engineering, thrive or get left behind? In this talk, we are going to discuss why becoming an AI engineer is essential in the next decade. So very quickly, in the next uh, like six years now, actually five and a half years, we expect that uh, according to a PWC report that by 2030, so it's like six years, five years, we AI is expected to contribute 15 trillion to the global economy. And in my opinion, this is more like a linear forecast. I think it will be much more. What, like, what does it mean? 15 trillion, it's a significant portion of our economy. And I think it will be much more. I think like with NVIDIA being the largest company and we basically having solved intelligence in a way, scale, having solved the problem of scaling intelligence uh, means that the few people who control the intelligence, who are still able to utilize it, will be a thousand times more productive, 10,000 times more productive, or 100,000 times more productive than the people who don't, right? Which means that you, there's no way you can avoid this big theme. And at the contrary, if you now take decisive steps to become an AI engineer, you will become you will be on the right side of change in the next six seven years right why because you have infinite scale at your fingertips basically you can you can use ai to create an amount of value that was just not possible before for example with with Fingster, we we have published um uh, we have we have we made some consi consulting during the last uh, years in the python space so we have helped companies solve python problems basically and we have published a lot of content as well as a byproduct of helping businesses in the python um, industry and um and i mean there was a time where i paid a hundred bucks to freelancers creating helpful python material uh for 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 companies and uh private individuals and i paid a hundred buck per like micro problem that was solved in such a such a such a report or content report and now this exactly like the exactly same report actually in a better quality can already be produced by ai i mean imagine the problem solving capabilities we we have we have now access to with chatgpt which means that many businesses will scale a thousand times with with powerful ai and um and of course, it will be at the cost of businesses that don't, right? So if you want to be on the right side of change, we need to learn to use these tools and to integrate those tools into the different sectors of our economy. And um, for instance, AI disruption, we, we, we see it across different engine industries. Here is a, is a report, also one, one by McKinsey, that shows how over the next couple of years, we will shift to what more and more percentage wise to what integration of ai more and more like we for instance in technology ai already has a large effect today roughly like 20 percent in this quant, uh, quant quantization of of how much ai is already integrated into the industry for instance in energy we have a very low ai integration factor of say 10 percent and we, we see that in each of those sectors we see an orders of magnitude shift toward integrating more AI into the industry. So this is like a, this is a, a paradigm shift that we are underway. And in a, in a few years, because technology, the technology already gives us the opportunity to integrate these uh, scalable intelligence, intelligence this into into each industry right so we can already do it today but we, we we on top of this we see an exponentially improving cost curve for ai training every single year ai training costs reduced by 70 percent and this compounds over time to an orders of magnitude three orders of magnitude cost decline over only three to five years or so and um as a result we would see how Basically, all industries will have an 80-90% AI automation score. And who will, who will provide the AI automation to those industries? It will be AI engineers like you and me. It will be those who are capable of using those tools, who have the vision to integrate those tools and to push these tools into uh, 
like into the into the into the into the end, right? To the to the to the edge of the value creation pipeline. So there will be a job market disruption as well, which is a double-edged sword, right? AI could displace or will displace at least 85 million jobs. And uh, yeah, and this could already be as early as next year, right? And create 97 million new roles. And the new roles created, like those new roles will be mainly AI engineers or maybe professionals with a certain focus on a certain topic, but also with AI engineering skills. So if you have some interest, for instance, in music or so, and now you can also use or art, now you can use art, like your interest, plus AI engineering to create a thousand times more value. And basically in every industry, those people who just have, an, say, an interest in a, in, a, in a certain or a passion for a certain industry, and then also on top of this, the AI engineering skills, they will outperform the very experts of this industries, industry, right? So if you are, say, only an artist, but with zero AI engineering skills, and now, and now somebody comes with a passion for art, but not like not a professional artist, but a lot of AI engineering skills. Now the second person with the AI engineering skills will outperform the artist, even though the artist might have 10 times more skills, but the AI engineer artist will have a thousand times, a million times more value creation and will outperform the, the pure artist. Uh, by orders of magnitude, which means that you cannot survive without AI engineering skills. It is the most important skill set of our times. And and I will show you in a minute what, what I mean with AI engineering. Basically, I can tell you right away. AI engineering, for um, like for me and also like in this con the context of this talk, is just the capability of using AI and integrating AI into real world problems and using AI to solve real world problems. And this is basically a very simple skill. Often it just involves using the OpenAI API, for instance, uh, like, like I did with my new tool, like freevideos.ai, which I just created. Uh, it's a si simple tool. You put in your video topic, like one cup can heal your gut in days, turmeric and ginger, something like this. You can select the voice. You can select the number of AI generated images. You generate the video, right? And, and with a, with a few, few clicks on the button, you can create a video. You can create such an AI application and create thousands of videos in seconds, right? If you want. And, um, just by means of open AI and using AI engineering skills. These are like very pretty simple skills, but, uh, all of us can, can learn them, uh, very quickly. And, yeah, so why is AI engineering the career of the future? Here it's a bit difficult to see. Here on the, you see on, uh, in, the, in the log space, so you have on the y axis, you have the number of petaflops per day, and on the x axis, you have the time. x axis is linear time. So if you have, if we have a line in the log linear space, this means exponential growth. So we have seen exponential growth, right? Moore's law, we all, we all know it. Uh, software is eating the world and AI is eating software. Why is that? Because recently with NVIDIA, I did a lot of uh, those uh, um, quantitative talks in uh, previous videos on the Finkster channel. Uh, we see with NVIDIA uh, like how the exponential growth has actually accelerated, which is insane, right? Even maintaining ex exponential growth is is already uh, insane. It is very disruptive, but it has accelerated with the rise of NVIDIA and uh, using GPUs for highly parallelized uh, AI training. And uh, it has accelerated and, and uh, NVIDIA could actually maintain this accelerated growth rate, uh, ex accelerated exponential growth rate. I mean, this is an, an insane, right? Uh, in the last decade or so, and it will continue to, uh, to grow, right? Our capability of solving problems by means of AI. This is, you can bet on this. You can bet your whole career on this. And if you don't, you are, you are, you will likely lose out. And so the challenge is to integrate AI into the real world. We already have the AI. We already have the models. The models are already producing intelligence cheaper than human beings, right? So it's cheaper to, to, to hire an, an AI to create those kind of videos that I just told you, for instance. Right, this was now completely AI generated in seconds about 
about a certain topic, like with re research and stuff. If I if I paid a human to do this, I would probably pay 50 to 100 bucks or so on Upwork. But now it's just like a few cents, a few seconds, and it's done, right? So AI is exponentially uh, uh, more cost efficient already. So the, the technology is already there. Now the only question is, how do we integrate the te technology into the real world? And we need to integrate AI, large language model, generative AI and stuff into factories, into retail, and into like more general general corporations like offices and stuff, right? So for instance, for AI power decision making, for personalization to increase sales, for sales, for customer service, the predictive models, right? All of these kind of things, we need to integrate AI into the real world. And this is integrating AI into the real world is AI engineering, right? So AI engineering is the most important job description there is in the next decade. And whether you are a freelance AI engineer, whether you do it for yourself by creating applications like this one, like the uh, free videos that dot AI creating video applications, uh, whether you use it, you do it for a, for a job, like in a, at a certain job role, just getting a high salary. It doesn't matter. The skill is the same, right? It's just using the, these AI tools to create value pipeline. And here you see now the question might be, ah, is AI overhyped? No, we already went through the overhyped phases between the sixties and the seventies. We already had this hype cycle. Then we had the, 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 the first AI winter, right? Then between the eighties and nineties, uh, like at the end of the eighties, 88 and stuff. We already had a second surge in interest here uh, in AI. And then again, at a higher, a higher trough, basically, of, uh, of this, the second winter, a significant decline of AI. And now we have a new upsurge, right? And of course, there will be a, another decline, but it will be at a higher level. And we go from, we, get, we go from, uh, we have higher lows, basically, and higher highs, right? So this is a significant disruptive trend no matter if you like people who, who believe it is overhyped they just don't see the big picture the whole picture is it might, might be overhyped now but it's but the second decline or the, or the third decline the third winter will be will still be on, at a much higher um, trough than than the uh, second decline right so we we will see up to 375 million workers that need that may, that need to switch occupational categories due to McKinsey. So, and AI engineering is the solution. Why? Because it's a bridge between AI. AI is now like a commodity. Intelligence is now a commodity by means of AI and real world applications. So, we need to bridge the real world applications. And here you, we see in green we see the the potential for automation. Green means a high potential for for automation, full automation. Yellow means a high potential for augmentation with AI. And then red and um, yeah, red means low potential. And we, you see like at least 50% of many industries like banking, insurance, software, capital markets, energy, communication, sales and stuff. Like all these industries have a very high potential for full out, uh, automation. But who is doing the automation? AI engineers do the automation. And if they do this, they will save hundreds of billions, even trillions of dollars to those industries. And that's why those industries, uh, companies and organizations in those industries will pay AI engineers very well. And that's why I have shifted the focus on the thing of the Thinkster the Academy towards AI engineering. So if you go to academy.thinkster.com, like here, you can um, um, it, it's like a, it's like a university, right? You can have different courses. You can take different courses, and all courses in the in the recent years have been AI engineering courses to teach you these skills, to give you the certificates. If you if you if you for a completion of each course, you get a certificate. It's like a university where you can self-select the different programs. You can self-select different learning paths. You get all the certificates. You can download the certificates and then apply for the jobs. And many, many, like hundreds of Finksters have already uh, found jobs with those Finkster certificates. And we have thousands of Finksters on the academy. So you can just go through the courses at your own page. It's a very modern page, modern pace. Um, and yeah, and recently I have restructured the academy into learning paths. So now we have three learning paths. Become an AI engineer from scratch, where we have courses here. 
these are like three three courses you can start with those but we have we have even like much more courses in this learning path and you can just go through those courses like in small chunks right every day maybe maybe finish one lesson and then after a couple of weeks uh, you will have um, fun, finished many courses have downloaded pdf certificates to certify your skills have had new ideas how to use AI in the real world, how to integrate AI in the real world. So this is the most important learning path, become an AI engineer from scratch. It opens up a whole new career path. Uh, but of course, maybe you are even a complete beginner in Python. Now you can also do the learning path, become a Python professional, starting as a beginner. Now here, for instance, mastering sets, and you can like all the courses, what is Python dependencies, PIP, at, a, at, the, at your own pace, you can go through the courses, become a better and better Python coder, and you can use these Python skills then in the in, in this learning path to where you want to become an AI engineer, right? So you can build those learning paths upon each other. Then we have a third learning path, how to become a freelance develop, developer from zero to full-time income. We have another learning path to become a better computer scientist by having like more broad applications like Golang, Learn the, learn the language of Golang. And if you just want to chaotically learn this and that, it's also fine. Uh, you can browse all courses at, at the bottom. So this is a very inexpensive, very affordable way. And you can even start with the, with the first free, with the first course for free to, um, it's called a beginner's guide to AI engineering. Uh, you click on the course here like this. You start, start the lesson. You listen to the, to the lesson material, maybe there's some text as well. You can usually um, visit like the full text lesson as well with code examples. So if you click at this, you will get all the code as well. So you can follow along nicely and smoothly. Uh, just just do this like if you want, you can follow along. And then we also have GitHub repository for all the courses. You can comment here, interact with the community, join the Discord mastermind group. It is also part of the Things Academy. It's really like a university, but in the cyberspace. And then if you are done, you can download the personalized course certificate. Just open it and uh, yeah, download your course certificate. And you can, with the certificate of compl completion, I have signed this, Dr. Christian Meyer, and um, you can you can give it to your employer or freelancing client or so to prove that you are capable of doing the most important thing, which is AI engineering. Uh, so join us, be on the right side of ch change, join the Finkster AI Academy. I will give a link in the description below. You can enroll, it's very inexpensive. It's like, a, I don't even know, less than 10 bucks per month or so, maybe roughly 10 bucks per month on, on a, if you pay the annual basis. And uh, yeah, university will cost you tens of thousands, right? And this university will not teach you those, those kind of skills in a very structured, and um, um, yeah, nicely laid out, hands-on approach. University will cost more and teach teach you skills that are not as relevant. How do I know? Because I was a teacher at university as well. I have a PhD in computer science. Uh, I did AI um, research myself when it, before it was uh, very overhyped, right? I did like graph theory and uh, and AI research. I was a researcher in the AI industry. I have published conference papers at AI and distributed systems um, conferences. So I know I know what you teach uh, at university and the skills, I can really confidently say the skills you learn uh, in the, on the Finkster Academy are more important for the real world, for real world integration of AI than the skills you learn at universities. But still, for some reason, people are still going to universities, paying a lot of money, spending all their times, time there, moving their atoms there <laughs> to, and uh, to participate at university programs and uh, yeah, pay a lot of money, go into debt, uh, spend a lot of effort, energy, and the best years of their life, wasting their time on topics that are not even relevant for the real world anymore. It doesn't, of course, it doesn't apply to all universities and all programs and stuff, but now with the Finkster Academy, you have found a very inexpensive way of, um, of polishing your AI engineering skills, of learning skills that are really relevant, no matter which career path you are pursuing. Why? Because every career path will now involve AI engineering. So get your hands on to this most important skill, AI engineering. Thanks for listening to, the, to this video and see you in the next video. Bye.